Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to be taking a look at the new Minecraft snapshot 19w03ab and c. Yes, the last two are very short so I'm going to include them in this video as well. But yes, welcome to this series where we are taking a look at the new snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. Alright, so they have added some pretty new interesting stuff, including a new block that we're going to be taking a look at. I have my inventory filled of stuff that we're going to be covering in this snapshot, and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to be covering is the new block, the composter, which is a really cool block, and let me just turn off auto jump here, there we go. The composter, it's a very cool block that allows you to generate bone meal, um, and it works by having stuff like nature things such as seed and apples and stuff like that I don't think beet will work I wonder if seeds will work they have a big list on their wiki of what items goes into this thing and what percentage they fill up the composter um, I will leave a link down below but basically if you have any leftovers of maybe foods and maybe you know what maybe if we get some wheat real quick just like that and you have some leftovers of that or maybe you have some pumpkin pie that you don't even need because the pumpkin pie has a hundred percent chance of filling one level um, from, I, from what I understand there are nine levels in total where it fills it up but before we test it I should probably show you how to craft it so if we just take a crafting table real quick and grab that over there and we take some wood you can use any wood that you want doesn't matter what wood and also then you need some fence again doesn't matter what kind of fence it is you just place it like so and like that and boom again it does not have to be birch fence it could have been jungle fence or spruce fence and it doesn't have to be a planks it could have been jungle planks or dark oak planks whatever or even a mix doesn't matter and there you got your composter really cool now the composter works by you right clicking with a potato for example now as you can see it filled up that little little pixel <laughs> of a level there actually it fills up two it seems and there you can so so I just clicked and nothing happened because each item has a different percentage um, of if it will or a chance if it will fill it up so for example pumpkin pie I believe has a hundred percent of filling it up so if we just fill this up all the way to the top and there we go we now have some bone meal, now we just right click it, it can be with that or an empty item, or an empty hand, sorry, and we got the bone meal right there. I guess flowers work as well. Yes. And as you can see, this seems like to have a 50% chance. Now, that's how that works. And you can, as far as I can tell, you can fill this up to that, just leave it and it will turn. I don't know if it will have any effect if you keep adding an item like no it doesn't so when it comes to this and there's just one pixel remaining over there you just leave it be this white stuff come here and you take it and boom you have bone meal now the cool thing about this as you can see this seems like a 10% chance because I'm clicking away with my mouse right now and nothing is happening except for a little bit so this seems like only 10% 10% chance while the apple I believe is a 50% and the pumpkin pie I believe is a hundred percent as well. I will probably put a image of the table from the wiki on the screen right now, but if not, go ahead and check the link down in the description. Now the cool thing, if I just get rid of all this stuff here, is that it actually interacts with harbors. So if you got some harbors here and we got the composter, let's say I wanted to have a system and I can imagine you can make AFK stuff with this in a way, but I'm not sure. I'm not that big of a nerd. <laughs> so if we put a hopper there, we take the composter, put it on top, and put a hopper on top of that, we can then fill the hopper. Let's just say we have a bunch of wheat seeds that we don't use anymore. And you know what? Let's add a chest up here, because why not? There we go. Add those in there, and as you can see, it slowly starts to fill up the composter using the hopper. And as you can see, it does not seem like 
the seeds are a very good thing to use. It seems like a 10% chance, but it slows off um, fairly quickly. And there you see, it just emptied and the hopper beneath here took the bone meal into the chest. If we just use something like, let's say, uh, I don't remember what has an 80% chance, but let's take that and maybe some bread. Let's just say we have a bunch of this stuff and we don't need this. And for some weird reason, don't know why we wouldn't keep those things, but still. As you can see, that fills it up right there. Boom. And it just works. So now you can pretty much throw out your trash and garbage, stuff like that. And you should be good to go. I wonder... This is just a test. I've never tested this before. Yeah. It does not take meat, as you can see, at all. Which makes sense. Um, but yes, again... The table will be probably on the screen, but if not, go ahead and check the wiki link down in the description. That is pretty much the composter, and I think it's a really cool block and add-on to, to Minecraft, or addition to Minecraft, I should say. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's head on to the next subject. Alright, so the next thing I think I would like to cover, cover is the campfire. If you haven't seen my last video of the last snapshot that we took a look at, basically they added a campfire in the last snapshot before this one. And check it out, they updated the textures. Before it was just one like slab of Yeah, I don't yeah. One slab of yeah, slab. <laughs> um but now as you can see they have actually updated the textures to be more three D and it looks amazing. Let's just take a look at that. Let's just take a good look at that. Look at the details down there as well, like the, the ashes and stuff like that. That looks really amazing. I really like this block and I think it's really great. I don't think they changed the, the smoke particles, at least they didn't say anything about that. So yeah, that is pretty cool. And neat. Boom. Let's go to the next one. The next is mostly sound changes. So if we take a look, for example, the barrel, and unfortunately I will have to end the music right now, but it's so good. Um, I wonder, you might still be able to hear it, but we'll take a look. Um, the barrel, blast furnace, smoker and grindstone has gotten their sounds updated, which is pretty cool. So now if we open it, I think you'll be able to hear that. You know what, let's just turn the music down just a little bit. Just like that. Can't hear it, but still. If you hear it... That sounds really good, like you're actually taking the lid off it. That's cool, really cool. Now if we have the blast furnace here, if we just put some coal in here and some iron ore, we'll just throw it all in there, and listen. I think it sounds a little bit deeper than the normal furnace, a little bit, I don't know, rougher, like... It's a little bit hard to hear actually, but you can hear it just a little bit. And if we take the smoker, let's just bring that down here, where we have some silence. This sounds a little bit lighter than the blast furnace. And also like, I don't know, faster? I'm not sure if that makes sense. And then if we compare that to the normal furnace, just take a quick furnace here. And we just, uh, I don't know, uh, take and burn anything, just that and that. I have a hard time hearing the differences, but uh, I can tell there's a slightly, there's a slight difference. Um, so yeah, their sounds have been updated, so they now have each of their individual sounds. And now the grindstone, if you just take a look at that real quick, let's just drop that junk. If we take some tools here for testing, listen to this. That's so awesome. 
this one again. Amazing, right? So like the anvil has its own like bang sound, the grindstone now has a grindy stone, which I really, really like. So there you go. And let's turn that music back on. Oh boy, that's loud. That's very loud. Oh boy. So yeah, that's the sounds of those four blocks. And we got some more sound setting to do. So let's get over here. Um, or to, hmm. You know what? Let's do it right down here. Flat area. Nice little area to do it in. Let's go, actually. Let me just change this. There we go. And then 50%. There we go. Lovely. All right. Let's take a look at the next sound test. So the next sound test is actually, well, not sound test, but the new sounds that they added is actually for farmland or planting. So if we just take that and I just need one of that. Then I need some water. Water. And then we place that and then quickly place that around. Just like that. Boom. Alright, that should be plenty of space to test. And I don't think it's the hoeing sound that has been updated. Let's test. Yeah, that's still the same. Oh, actually, let's cover the berries first. They have a new sound. Though I don't like this sound. Because it sounds like snake or sand or something like that. I really hope that they change that sound because I really don't think it's fitting for berries. I mean, I don't even know what it's supposed to sound like. If I heard that, I would say, is it a snake or an animal? It does not sound like berries at all so I really hope that they change that but it is kind of cool that they have added sounds to it I just really hope that they change the sound to something else because that does not in my in my opinion sound good at all and then we have the now we can go on to these there's another there's another the, 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 the cat speak the nether ward Before, I'm pretty sure it had the sound of string. Or a similar sound. But no more. I really like this. It feels much more natural and give, it gives it another feel to planting another wood. Um, but yes, also the other seats have had new sounds. It feels more natural again. Oh, yep, I forgot you can't plant beetroot like, like that. As you can hear, it's just the same. And before it was like this very loud noise. But now it's like this smooth and natural sounding, except for the stern. <laughs> I really like that sound. And it's different to the netherward as well. The netherward has a, like a deeper sound to it, but this one is different. So I really like that they actually have something different and it's not just the same. So yeah, those sounds have been changed as well, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, it's the sound update. <laughs> no, it's not. They don't say anything about that. But um, that's what I'm gonna call it: the sound, the sound update or change or whatever you want to call it. Um, let me just check a look at what else is here. I'll be right back. Oh yes, a change to m to the giant mob, like the big giants. Um, it no longer uses the zombie AI nor NBT tag. So there's some info for you nerds out there that fiddle with all that stuff. <laughs> I don't do, so I'm not sure what on earth they are talking about. But, well, I do understand the AI and stuff, but yeah, there you go. And then we have 24 issues fixed. We have two from the previous release versions before 1.14 and then we have uh, how many is that 
if I have counted correctly, 10 uh, issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions, and then 12 issues fixed from the previous development version. So that is pretty cool right there, and that is pretty much all for the 19W03A Starship. But don't go! Please. We still gotta cover the 19th W03 B and C. They're very short. Let's get right to it. So the 19th W03B most ha mostly has issues fixes, but they also actually add something new, which is to the composter. If you remember, there are these big mushrooms, and you can now actually add these blocks. I believe you can do the mushrooms as well, but those are not part of the update. Um, you can now use these blocks in the composter. I don't remember the percentage of their possibility of adding a layer to this. Again, check the link down in the description, and if I haven't added it, please remind me in the comments. Um, but as you can see, you can use that to now do this, which is pretty cool. Seems like maybe the stem has a different chance of putting a level than the red one, for example, but uh, again, I'm not sure about that. Check the table. But yes, that is added in 19W03B, and then we mostly have issues, is, is, issue fixes. Oh, you can use normal mushrooms as well, but that is not part of this update. So, ignore that. It was just a test. Yes, 16 issues fixed, one from the release versions before 1.14, um, 7 from the 1.14 development versions, and then, I believe, 8 from the previous development version. So that is pretty cool right there. Let's move on to 19W03C, which only has four issues fixed. One from the release versions before 1.14, and then three from the previous development version. And, I th and I'm going to um, say these last three from the previous development version, which I'm assuming is Snapchat 19W03B, the one that we just talked about. Um, one of them, that players are invisible and do not interact with the world normally, that's a kind of a big glitch. So first I was like, why did they release this snapshot, 19W03C, but now I understand when I understand the issues that they have fixed. Just sometimes remain open after closing the GUI, and then the final one, farmland glitches player. So those are kind of important to fix, I can understand that. So now I understand that. So yeah, there you go, the last three updates and snapshots from Mojang to Minecraft 1.14. And I'm so excited for 1.14, I just can't wait for it to release. I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna play it and play it and play it and yes, stay tuned for that. My let's play is gonna update basically. <laughs> Either with a brand new world or we're going to continue and then in the same, um, yeah, in the same world but updated Minecraft version. But anyway, doesn't matter, doesn't matter right now. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting carried away here. But anyways, thank you for watching this snapshot video. Let me know if you're excited as I am for 1.14 and if you're excited about these new changes in these snapshots as well. If you've got any suggestions or anything like that, be sure to leave a comment down below. And also, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a comment saying you enjoyed it. Yay. Appreciate the, fee the feedback. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and share with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos and live streams and all that good stuff. And yeah, also remember the bell for notifications and stuff like that. Also, you can join my Discord server, link down below. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch, links down below as well. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day.